Maka's guides. <laughs> All right, next up, we are on the level Blast to the Past. Welcome back, I'm Maka, and this is my 100% walkthrough for Crash Bandicoot 4. I hope you're enjoying the videos so far. There's a playlist linked in the description if you want it. Now, there is a very tricky box, and if you're missing one box and one box only, it's probably this sixth box right here, hidden very devilishly behind that fruit on the left. Then there is a time box, and I would time it with these vines so that you can run through them right as they go away. They're a little bit in the distance, and there was also one time box nice and high as we jumped off of that dinosaur. There are two boxes above this guy, two boxes here with the TNT. Don't hit the nitro, the masks come in handy, and you'll get a checkpoint here at 19 uh, crates before the grind. The grind itself isn't too hard, you just have to memorize everything as doing this as you know on the very first time you go through this it can get a little bit tricky and your fingers will try to deceive you when you know you, it's not that complicated your fingers try to over complicate it at least that happens for me watch out for these rocks the timing window on them is really awkward because the camera is rotating as you're coming at them there's a box underneath a box on top and grab the wump of fruit because why not at this checkpoint be at 31 out of 110 we're going to continue on. This is just, you know, stock platforming, perfect 2D timed platforming, the the exact stuff I love the most in Crash Bandicoot games. And at the very end of this, there is a bonus path, which we will enter with 41 crates. Additionally, there is a flashback tape somewhere around here. I already have it, so you won't see me pick it up, but it's really impossible to miss. Going to the bonus level. This bonus level is one of the harder ones, in my opinion, in the game. But because you have infinite tries and infinite lives in bonus rounds, don't really worry. As long as you eventually get it, you're good to go. And uh, we'll come out with 64 of the crates in the level. After coming out of the bonus level, grab the crates on the right and the left and use your time dilation to get across these platforms. You'll notice that there is a TNT at the end. I would just leave it for now. It gets complicated if you trigger it. So just leave it and then you'll have to make your way back. Wait for two cycles of the arms just in case you miss a jump. The platforms won't be there if you're too quick. So once the platforms are back and you got that metal box, work your way back. Trigger the TNT now, which will automatically take care of the nitro for you. And don't forget to grab the metal crate here as well once it blows up for 78. Here I am going to touch these two nitros with my, um, you know, slowdown of time. And we are going to grab 81 before going over this pretty basic jump. Now, these can be a little bit difficult. If you have a mask to spare, I would just basically, you know, go at it and blow up the nitro. I'm trying to do it without blowing up the nitro. And if you don't blow up the nitro, you will have 84 out of 110. And then there's a TNT here. And then there's just some vines we have to jump over. Coming up, there is also a uh, two metal boxes we'll need to smash through. It is a little bit of a weird jump, but you basically just want to slide and then double jump onto it. As you jump across this next vine, make sure you grab the box in the middle and then four boxes here. And at the checkpoint, we are at 96 and all we have left is a grind. The hidden gem is in the middle of this grind. So make sure you are prepared. Jump to the right. This part is all pretty easy. You're just gonna be making jumps and the boxes, you can't really miss them. Here, jump left, jump right early into the gem, jump left again, grab the next box, jump right, and then just continue on to the end of the level. 
there is a nitro crate at the end you'll want to explode depending on how many nitro you have left it could be like three or two or four and that should be the whole level here i do get the perfect uh, relic as i didn't die and got everything in one go thank you for watching i hope the video was helpful special thanks to everyone on patreon for supporting the show shout out to puffy vins and elder ghost and hopefully i see you soon peace